Folks, Canadian Prepper here. Quick update video for you today. So my friends, if you are currently living in North America, you are experiencing probably one of the coldest days of your life. We're talking about temperatures of down to minus 70 with this Siberian polar vortices breakdown of the jet stream whatever you want to call it not many people are prepared for it we've been trying to get people prepared for this extreme weather for some time perhaps more importantly in the grand scheme of things we need to talk about moscow installing air defense systems around the city to complement the fact that they are stocking bomb shelters right now is speaking with some russian friends today who claim that the translation of Putin's speech is far more ominous than the Western media is making out. We also need to talk about what they're calling one of the biggest military buildups since World War II in the South China Sea. That's according to a U.S. admiral. So we got a lot of things going on. Do me this favor, guys. If you happen to be in North America in one of these places, which is experiencing record cold temperatures, if you have to venture out, with a vehicle please make sure that you have the following three things you have a, a jump starter one of those portable lithium jump starters or you have jumper cables so that somebody else can give you a boost to get you out of a jam you have a traction device like a max tracks or something to put on your tire to give you that extra traction because even if you're the best driver you can hit a patch of black ice you can go off into the ditch and you're going to be stuck and you're going to be stranded and if it's that bad that you did that that means that probably 15 more people are waiting for emergency services so make sure that you have your gas fully topped off at all times in weather like this because heat is going to be one of your one of the things you seek the most in a situation like that and if you can get some sort of propane or kerosene heater like a mr heater mr big buddy whatever you want to call it and uh, put that in your car and just have it in there with a few one liter tins of propane okay because this is the kind of weather that will kill you anything below minus 30 can kill you in not very long i mean i was going to say a few minutes but realistically it takes a little bit longer than that minus 40 yeah it only takes a few minutes uh, the life force will be sucked right out of you okay so make sure that you are you're prepared for this weather if you don't have fur from fernand the fur guy or a big jacket like this then you need to have a backup plan by the way you can get all this stuff canadianpreparedness.com where we try to outfit people for these extremes because this is the age of consequences this is the age of extremes go on climate reanalyzer you'll see that the arctic is actually quite warm it's almost warmer in many spots than it is in north america because all of that air the jet stream just done broke okay it, it's i'm not going to explain it again but what you need to understand is that next year i believe i'm going to predict that next year is going to be one of the hottest years on record as a result of what is happening right now because all that arctic air that's supposed to be keeping that ice cold up there ain't Okay, it's all spilling over and it's a zero sum game. There's a certain amount of cold on the planet. And it's got to go somewhere. If it's not in the Arctic, it's coming down here and it's kicking our butts right now. A lot of people are going to take that as evidence of, hey, where's this global warming stuff? Well, just wait, just watch. You will see. This is the age of extremes. Everything is out of balance. Anyways, for the first time since the start of the war in Ukraine, Russia has deployed anti-aircraft systems around the country's capital. Russian media reports that a conflict with NATO is just a matter of weeks away. Weeks away, okay? According to images that are coming out of Moscow, passengers of a suburban train, I don't have the images here to show you, but there's video of it online, they were left speechless when they realized a sudden deployment of anti-aircraft systems near Moscow. The entire anti-aircraft umbrella of the Russian capital is on alert and... Remember that Moscow has been doing an inventory of its emergency shelters in the last few weeks. Actually, probably for the last few months now we've been talking about this because it is a long process. And of course, after the attack near Moscow on the Engels Air Force Base, uh, that obviously probably motivated the Russians to take air defense more seriously within their country but on the heels of Zelensky's recent visit to Moscow it's clear that things are escalating you have 
the head of Mont Moldova's intelligence service, claiming that Russia is planning a ground invasion of that country in early 2023. As early as January, they say, but likely in April. Now, you have to cross a few places in order to do that. They only have about 1,500 troops in Transnistria. I don't know if they're able to effectively move a lot of troops into that region. They may have that capability without you know things being shot down. I'm guessing that they don't because they don't have a land bridge to get there just yet. But I know that one of the largest ammo depots, the largest ammo depot in Europe is in Transnistria. Okay, so the Russians, according to the head of Moldova intelligence, <coughs> which borders Romania, is going to be invaded in early 2023. Guys, if you can, get everything that you need on Boxing Day this year. Okay, If you have the opportunity, get everything you need on Boxing Day. Right now, if you're looking for a, uh, you know, a last-minute Christmas gift, you can get a gift card from canadianpreparedness.com that's the best gift for a prepper because it's basically giving them anything a prepper would want we have it at canadianpreparedness.com only the highest end gear but i'm not very confident that we're going to be able to get a lot of this stuff at the same time next year i just can't see a world where that's even possible especially with respect to food so the head of the Moldovan Intelligence and Security Service added that the largest ammunition depot in Europe is in the Transnistria region. We've had the attempted assassination of the former head of uh, Russia's space program. That is huge because he just left the program in July and he was very pro-nuclear. He was somewhat critical of uh, the Russian approach to this whole conflict but the ukrainians tried to take him out that's big okay this is an escalation kremlin says that there's no chance of peace now that uh, the patriot missiles are coming in and now that Zelensky has went to to uh washington i'm hurrying here because i gotta pick someone up in like two minutes uh did i talk about this anomaly where the temperature plunged by 42 degrees in less than an hour Okay, in Cheyenne, Wyoming, it plummeted by 42 degrees in just an hour. That is absolutely insane. <sighs> Man, that is just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm going to take this conversation up later. I'm going to save the talk about the massive military buildup in the South China Sea for another day. But guys, get prepared. If you can, do whatever it takes right now to get squared away. And don't let this Boxing Day go to waste. If you can get deals on preparedness supplies, you need to capitalize on them. And please, if you are venturing out and you're in North America, make sure you have an emergency blanket. Go and watch our videos, our extensive library of winter survival videos. We talk about all these things. And I did just release a video not too long ago, I think, about winter survival kit you know that one with normal c norman where he attempts to survive armageddon didn't have that great of luck so don't be a normal c norman especially this time of year the time to prep is now stay ready and let me know what you're seeing in your neck of the woods and how you're keeping warm and oh yeah power grid could be compromised at any moment so just stay vigilant watch your six thanks for watching canadian prepper out